In today's video, I'll be showing you how to transfer photos and videos from an external hard disk to your Samsung Galaxy A24. So first, make sure that you have a type USB Type-C to Type-A port adapter. Then what you want to do is to connect your external hard disk to the adapter. And once it's been connected, just insert it gently into the phone. So it should look like that. Then if you have an external hard disk like mine, you should notice that it's blinking. Just wait for it to finish blinking. Once it stopped blinking, it means that your device, your external hard disk contents has been read and you can now access them. So what you want to do is open the files up and then in your files, you should see your internal storage, the SD card, if you've had one inserted and then your external hard disk. As you can see, mine has been split into two for USB storage one and USB storage two. So to transfer photos and videos, just select one of these and then look for something you would like to transfer. So if I want to move these videos, what you want to do is you just press and hold on that video so that you can see an option menu at the bottom of the screen. If you want to select more, just tap on the uh, tap on them like that to select them. Then what you want to do is select either copy or move. Moving means that they'll be transferred from your hard disk all the way to your phone, and copying means you'll have a cop you'll have a backup on your hard disk, and you'll also have another one on your phone. So choose one of these options. For this video, I'll be choosing copy. Then what you want to do is go back and then select internal storage. Under internal storage, select one of the folders that are available. So let me select download. And then you have the option to copy here. So just tap on it like that. If you've selected move, it won't be copy, it will be move here. So it's just a change of words, nothing much. So it may take a while, depending on the file sizes. So you just wait patiently. Once it's done copying, just go back. And then when you go to your internal storage, you should see your new files. And you should notice that they're still there on your hard disk. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.